I don't know about you, but I hate winter. And what better way to banish the winter blues than to make a nice healthy soup. So I've rough chopped most of the first ingredients that are gonna go into my lovely new pot. I've got some celery and some onion and some carrot and this is ginger. and garlic. If a recipe calls for, let's say two or three cloves of garlic, that means like six or seven for me. So if you come over to my house for dinner, I hope you like garlic. So right now I'm getting this pot ready for the vegetables. I've turned it on to medium heat. You don't want anything too crazy. I think when you're making soups, it's best to sort of take your time and enjoy the process. I enjoy the process anyways. So yeah, I've just put a couple tablespoons of olive oil and then all of this is going to go into the pot uh, with the exception of the ginger. I'm going to wait to put that in. So it's just going to be the celery, the onions and the carrots and I think I'll leave actually the ginger and the garlic for a little bit later. I love the smell of this cooking. It's amazing. So I have everything frying up. Ooh, clogging up here. If you guys could only smell this right now, it smells like heaven. Uh, I've added the garlic now. So it's become really fragrant. And I'm just going to fry these up for maybe five to eight minutes just so they kind of soften up. And then we'll put in our chicken broth. So the vegetables have simmered up nice. I'm just adding in my stock now. Do you want six cups of chicken stock? I've already put four in. This is the last two. Um, for chicken stock, I just use good old no frills brand. I usually opt for the cheaper route. I'm sure a lot of you do as well. And that's okay. Like, they're just as good. They taste just as good, right? So now that I've added my stock, it's time to add in this lovely bit of ginger. I love ginger. It smells so good. There's just something about it that I really love. And also at this stage, you can add in your turmeric. And you're going to need about a tablespoon of turmeric. And in goes the turmeric. So in my pot, I've added now black pepper and rosemary, and I've even added about a teaspoon of just general Italian seasoning, because I like the combination of basil and oregano. And now we're just gonna wait for this to start simmering, and then it's time to add the chicken. I'm kind of going to experiment today. I added the whole big pieces of chicken into the soup. I think that letting this chicken with the skin on it boil in with the vegetables in the stock is really going to make it flavorful. So I'm going to try it out. The skin won't make it into the final product. I'll take these chicken uh, thighs out and chop up the meat and discard the skin. but. I think for flavor's sake, I'm gonna leave it in. Let's see what happens here. I just wanted to take a minute to talk about turmeric. I bought this gigantic bag a 
about a year ago and I had it sitting in my pantry and I started to be conscious of finding recipes that incorporate turmeric because it has so many uh, benefits like anti-inflammatory, um, it's supposed to help guard against cancer, it's um, supposed to be really good for your um, lungs, it, it, it just has so many, the list goes on and on. So I love that this soup incorporates turmeric. It's also loaded with, as you guys have seen, garlic and onion and ginger. This soup is really um, so good all around. Good for the soul, good for your body, good for, and most importantly, good for your immune system. Uh, I always sort of boast that my boyfriend and I never get sick, and I think it's because I eat an excessive amount of onions and garlic. And um, we all know the benefits of, health, of onion and garlic as well. So make this soup, get it in ya. If you're sick, this is the remedy. Get someone to make it for you or maybe have some on hand in your freezer. Um, this could easily be uh, changed to a vegetarian or vegan meal. Obviously omit the chicken stock for vegetable and omit the chicken. And you could add your own protein into this uh, if you were going to use tofu, I would say add it in at the very, very end when the soup's done because it's sort of delicate and you don't want it to fall apart. Or you could even use uh, any substitute meat, um, substitute chicken burger, anything like that to add a bit more protein into it. Okay, so the chicken's done. I took it out of the pot, but look, I was so worried that leaving the skin on the chicken and boiling in the pot would make it too like foamy or fatty and it didn't it looks great so go ahead and use the cheap chicken uh, with the skin on it if you want so now I have the chicken out here resting it's just really hot right now so I'm letting it cool before I chop it up I'm gonna take all the skin off and discard that and chop all the chicken and return it back to the pot So while I'm waiting for the chicken to cool down, I've added my orzo into the pot. Um, you can use whatever you want though. I'm using orzo because I really like orzo. You could use any pasta you like if you like rotini or macaroni or uh, even the alphabet <laughs> pasta if you've got kitties. Um, you can even use couscous in this recipe if say you're gluten free or just simple brown rice whatever you like whatever you have on hand so I've chopped up all the chicken that's all the bones and all the skin that was left over and I put all my chicken shreds into this cup here and I got about two cups of chicken I think that'll be more than plenty for the soup on standby I have the green peas the frozen green peas ready and currently, I'm just waiting for the orzo to boil up. I added the orzo in here, as you can see. Um, and that needs about six minutes to cook. And then I'm gonna add the chicken and the peas back. Okay, final step. I just added all of that chicken into the pot. My orzo is nice and soft now. So I added the chicken that I shredded up back into the pot. And I added the frozen peas. And I'm just gonna let this sort of all meld together. Ooh, flaying peas everywhere. Um, I'm gonna probably let this kind of chill out together for maybe another 15, 20 minutes on a low, low heat, just so everything kind of soaks in together. But there you have it. It's very easy soup, super healthy, and I can't wait to dig into this for lunch today. So I've ladled myself out here a bowl and look how beautiful it looks. All those colors and all those nutrients. And the soup is super easy to come together and you can do it fairly cheap. I think my total cost would be about $6 for the chicken, $1 for the carrot, $3 for the celery. 
like $1.50 for the Orzo. The chicken stock boxes were, I think I got them on sale. I think they were like $1.50 each. So oh, what's that, three bucks in stock. And then the spices I just had sort of in my house. Um, the onion I had in my house too. So really easy soup, a really delicious soup, and a really nutrient dense soup. If you try this recipe, let me know in the comments below.